There are three main parts of a cell. The plasma membrane that surrounds the entire cell, forming its outer boundary. The cytoplasm, which is the specialized living material of cells, and the nucleus, which is the control center of the cell. It is the information in the nucleus that ultimately controls the workings of the entire cell. Within the nucleus is the nucleolus, which plays an essential role in the formation of ribosomes. The cytoplasm is a gel-like substance that contains numerous organelles. Among the organelles are ribosomes that synthesize proteins. Some ribosomes are attached to endoplasmic reticulum, and others move freely within the cytoplasm. Lysosomes are membranous sacs containing powerful enzymes. Lysosomal enzymes digest food compounds and are sometimes referred to as the cell's digestive system. They also can digest and destroy microbes that invade the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is a membranous network of interconnected canals and sacs, some with ribosomes attached, rough endoplasmic reticulum, and some without, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is primarily concerned with protein synthesis, and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is primarily concerned with the synthesis of lipids and steroids. The Golgi apparatus is a series of flattened membranous sacs. Proteins and other compounds synthesized along the rough endoplasmic reticulum are transported to the Golgi through channels formed by the endoplasmic reticulum. The Golgi apparatus chemically processes, then packages substances from the endoplasmic reticulum and releases them to the exterior of the cell. The powerhouses of the cell are the mitochondria. ATP is synthesized in these membranous capsules containing large folded membranes encrusted with enzymes. The centrioles are a pair of hollow cylinders that are each made up of tiny tubules. They function in cellular reproduction. Finally, the cilia and flagellum are located in the cell membrane. The cilia are short, hair-like projections on the outer surface of the cell that move substances across the surface of the cell in wave-like motion. A flagellum is similar to cilia, but is thicker, longer, and singular in number. It also helps to move the cell. The tail of a sperm is an example of a flagellum.